Um, we are back and we are coming over again. Yes, this is happening. This is the first house of many in Hawaii that we are visiting and making over. So I'm so excited. We are here at the house of Lauren. She's a fellow creative weirdo. She reached out to us about her bedroom. She's a mom. She works part time. She's so busy. She wants her room to be a sanctuary for her. Budget wise, Lauren's got $500, but a little secret between us, we're gonna do it for free for her and cover all the costs. We wanna make it extra special, but we're not gonna tell her that until we reveal it. The whole thing's gonna be a surprise. <gasps> we have so much to do. Oh my gosh, <gasps> thrift stores. Welcome home. Welcome home. Hello. Oh, look, there's a moon in the window. Ooh. Oh, hi. hi. Oh, my gosh. Hello. Hi. Oh, it's happening. I'm Lauren. This is my house with my boyfriend, Noah, and our two kids, Mana, who's four, and Anella, who's two. My boyfriend grew up in this house, and we moved in about a year ago. I've been trying to make it cute for us, um, but I have my hands full with the kids and money's tight, so I'm so happy that Kate and Joey can come help us with that. As a longtime watcher of Mr. Kate, I've always loved how she is super into DIY and thrifting stuff and giving new life to old things. Yes. Well, first, Cute. this stands out yeah. immediately. Yeah. It's chic. It's chic. <laughs> this was something my boyfriend brought home from Tell work. Me there are clothes in there. There's oh. actually, it's empty. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, but it's. He brought it home from work because they were getting rid of it, and he was like, I can't yeah. pass this up. I would love to. If we're going to keep it, do something a little nicer with it. Well, how long has it been it. in here? Um, a couple months. And it's empty. Mm -hmm. So you don't need it. No. <laughs> Can we help you digitize your files as part of this? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Makeover? Everything has been hand-me-downs or gifted. And this so is a queen. This is a queen. I would love a king. My daughter sleeps in her room in her crib, but my son has slept in his own bed maybe like three times ever. What about color-wise? I love yeah, the green. Earth is my favorite is color. Colorful. Yeah. Okay. Green, green. rust, like. Yeah, that, that mm, vibe. Love that. Real quick, can you take your aesthetic quiz? Okay, you go ahead. Okay. See what you get. Boho! Yeah. I think so, boho is your kind of your I, vibe. I, I think, I think so. and I also think, retro, too. I yeah, see a little bit like of that. Like a little vintage. The artwork on the wall, obviously, that's you. Mm -hmm. Mana in my belly. Aww. Got a pile of books because I read the kids' books in the bed at night. I'm excited. It's a petite room. Mm -hmm. We want to do a king bed, so it'll be mostly bed, but yeah. a lot of style. Perfect. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Lots oh my gosh, style. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. So much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over. Open up, we're here. Okay, you're yelling like so loud. Back at Lauren's, obviously now the whole room is cleared out because we are jumping in to designing and implementing and DIYing, painting galore. We have kicked Lauren and Noah and their kids out of the house, I mean, fondly, like, please go, because when you come back, your room's gonna be finished. So let's go over the design. There are some major challenges in here, namely just the size of the room and they want a king size bed. We're gonna give them a king size bed, but it's gonna pretty much take up the whole room. That's okay, because they've got this big closet here. So we're gonna do the dresser and stuff in the closet. Also, we are going to be giving them one of our moon beds, which has all this under bed storage. We're gonna go with a beautiful green in here. That's Lauren favorite color. They both like the kind of retro. They also like the vintage eclectic thing. So this whole wall is going to become headboard world. 
But what do you see next to me? This window, offset. I don't know what they were thinking with the placement, whoever decided to place these, but they didn't make it easy for anybody in here laying out a bedroom. But we're gonna work with it and we're gonna make them a design choice by the end of it. Mark my words. <laughs> so let's get Joey in here because I wanna get the headboard in here and map out this whole built-in. He's gonna be definitely busy <laughs> on this room. But it's gonna look so good. I see it in here. Let's just make it real. Joey! Hello. Okay, hello. The famous okay, so moon headboard. This is the moon headboard. Love the velvety softness of it. So the goal of this thing is just to just really embrace our floor plan choice. The bed is the hero in this room. So we really want to just have this wall sing design wise. This is gonna be our headboard, right? Do 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 da de. Is it centered? Yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna go right under here with a ledge. <laughs> what? It's a sketch, Joey. It's supposed to be imperfect. It's charming. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna have a balance to conceal a new little roll down shade that's gonna stick out. Cause I don't want the curtain to be a big situation in here. I want just a nice little shade. And then a lot of their inspiration images had caning on it. So we're gonna give them a whole caned paneled wall. Something going up here with like wallpaper and then maybe like layer over a picture from their maternity shoot. Let's talk about these sconces. Plug in sconces, but. Those are so cool. I know, they're so cute. We're gonna mount them onto the whole caning box thing that we're creating and run the cords to that plug. So they're basically gonna look like built in sconces and they can turn them on here with this knob. Yeah, yeah. your drawer top's gonna be like here. Yeah. Great, I love that. Cute. All right, let's paint. Hi everyone, I wanted to quickly tell you about our sponsor for this portion of the video, SoFi. As you know, we recently bought our Island Fixer Upper that we are turning into our dream home. And if there's one piece of advice I can give, it's this. Choosing the right lender is crucial in having a good home buying experience. Believe me, it can make all the difference in the world. That's why we're excited to tell you about our sponsor, SoFi, and their award-winning mortgage experience that's turning heads for home buyers right now. A home is likely one of the biggest purchases you will ever make, and the process can feel intimidating with a million questions and SoFi is modernizing the home buying process so you can view your rates online in minutes but still have dedicated one-on-one -on -one support to ask those questions. SoFi also offers competitive rates. CNBC Select even named them the best for saving money in 2023. Their on-time close guarantee offer also gives me confidence that their loan officers are dedicated to meeting deadlines. SoFi's application process is online and easy. Go to SoFi.com slash Mr. Kate or scan the QR code on your screen to give you your rate. It won't affect your credit score and no commitment is required. Big thanks to SoFi for sponsoring this portion of the video. What color we got here? It is called Sea Haze. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's gray with a hint of green. Because we're painting wood paneling, we're gonna go into these seams. Here you rolls. go, Joey Two Rolls. It's been a while. All right. Oh gosh. <laughs> Joey Two Rolls. I just took my caning out of the tub. It's dripping wet. This is actual natural caning and it's made from a plant. If you give it a nice little soak, it's gonna unroll and lay flat. Obviously, like I have this piece here. So here's the plan. These are our base pieces of plywood. We've prepped them with a quick coat of stain to enhance the texture and color of the wood. And then we have this darker mahogany trim. And this is going to 
frame out these caned pieces. And then this little notched out slice right here is going to be for the side table that we're gonna mount on either side. There is a traditional way to do caning, which is almost like how you mount a screen in a frame. There's little notches that you tuck it into, and then you lay a spline that is what tightens the cane, and, and then it dries and sort of stretches, and that's what you'll see on caned chairs or things that you're, they're actually using the caning for support. We're not doing that, we're cheating. <laughs> We've got all these areas to cover and we're just going straight over this wood. So really, we're treating it almost like an upholstery project in a way. I'm just gonna use a staple gun, staple this down into place, and then our wonderful trim is going to cover up our staple lines. Let's do it. Definitely the wetness of this is helping a lot. I can tell how it's just allowing it to kind of be more malleable. I think it will also help it dry a little bit tighter too so we don't have any sagging. Nobody wants saggy caning. for the wallpaper. Oh my gosh, that is the smallest wheelbarrow. I'm finding too many baskets. How many baskets are too many baskets? Probably any more than two is too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? I don't know. I think this is reasonable. Is that cool? I think someone like DIY'd this. It's painted on the glass. Thrift stores are our Disneyland. We have way too much fun here. Wait, something's playing in there. <laughs> My toy. Oh, I always love these faceted old decanters. Imagine this with like a little leaf or flower coming out of it. <laughs> we don't need that tiny helmet. But Easter Bunny and Apple do. Now you're shopping for your stuffed animals? Yes. How different our thrift store runs are now. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Hello. Okay, I'm working on some of the last minute stuff here at um, our home. I'm in our transformed creative studio, which if you haven't seen that video, link in the description, check it out. We've been motoring in that room. We got the headboard wall done. It looks so good. The caned project just turned out literally exactly how I imagined and sketched. I love when that happens. We built the valances for the windows, put those in out of the same mahogany. It looks so much better with this little pull down shade out of a linen texture, but I wanna balance it by doing some like rectangular slash you know, square stuff on the other side of where the window is. I've got a roll of Mr. Kate wallpaper here. <laughs> it is one of my favorite wallpaper patterns ever. This is the palm grid wallpaper. It's peel and stick. It was kind of just too perfect for the space not to use because A, it's got the green. B, it's got the homage to you know, the island, Hawaii. And also it's got this grid thing happening on it, which obviously there's the grid going on with the caned headboard. So it was just like, I just, I couldn't not use it. Okay. A request from Warren was to use some of their gorgeous maternity shoot photos. Like how freaking cute. Whoa, 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 showstopper. This one. <gasps> what? Like, goddess. She's wearing a sea green dress. She's got the hakule, which is just a gorgeous, traditional 
headpiece lay. Okay, I can't not use that either. Let's do some artwork here. All right, so I've got a variety of thrift store frames here. And also we got from the thrift store this mirror. The idea with this mirror, um, I think I'm just gonna try to lay this wallpaper over it. It fits like perfectly because it's actually a little bit longer, which is great because then I can trim it. And I love that idea for you guys. Like if you have a mirror, update it as a panel of wallpaper. You can always peel it off. This is peel and stick. So if you're like, actually, I'm ready to use it as a mirror again, voila, the mirror is still there behind it. So we're gonna try and see how it works. to get all the styling done today. Literally pull the room together. The bed project. Ah, it looks so good. It looks good. Bedding time. This room is pretty much all bed, so it better look good. I like the color palette. Yeah, so definitely Rusty. rust, a little bit of cream. We're doing a mixed sheet set. We've got one color on the base and another color on the top because we're getting a nice complex look. Ooh, we should get orange flowers to put in here. Ooh, perfect fit. Yes. All right, obviously you're gonna anchor that to the yeah. wall. Oh my gosh, the coolest thing! This, I think maybe we mount this one. when you have one of these types of frames that have the two little rings on the back. You take a piece of tape, put it across, nice, and you pretend it's the nail or screw you're about to put in.
talk about the nitty gritty details. I really think we pulled off the combo of aesthetics, right? We were going for the bohemian meets vintage eclectic for her, a little bit of retro for him, and the caning, oh, how cool is this? I'm so proud of how this turned out. But let's talk about the hero of the room, this moon bed, okay? This was such a perfect application of this design, which of course we designed for small spaces that don't have a ton of storage. We also kept their dresser, put it in the closet. So literally they've got like triple the amount of storage now. We've paid homage to the island and just the beautiful things about them as a couple here, celebrating those beautiful moments between them and obviously their children that play such a big role in this house as well. This thrifted basket now is the perfect storage storage for the kids books for they were all stacked on top of that old filing cabinet. I'm gonna put it here on the floor. I love floor baskets for kids because it's just so easy for them to access for reading time. We've got a faux plant here. There's also a couple over there. Lauren requested faux plants because she said she's not good at taking care of real ones, but I did give her one pothos. It's the easiest one to take care of, so just one real one amongst the faux ones. And then this closet, oh my gosh, like the maximized space in here now because this dresser that they had before fits perfectly in here with room to spare. It's still all like cute and styled with all of her stuff up there. Mom! Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be surprised. I know you're so excited for the surprise. Moon is so excited to count down and show Lauren. He hasn't done one of these reveals since he was a baby and he did not care about them when he was a baby. And then over here, more hanging storage. There's even more room, small room, great storage. Awesome thing for Lauren and Noah is that we have gifted all of this to them. She can keep her $500, but we'll tell her that when we reveal it to her, which we're doing right now. Let's go get her. Eyes closed, no peeking. No peeking. Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. We're gonna put you right, right like okay. here. Oh, you might feel something. Oh, ooh, ooh. Soft. Ooh. Like <laughs> soft toe moment. So, do we all remember what your room looked like before? Yeah, terrible. <laughs> and it, all of these drawers open up so the entire bed is stored as well. That will fit so much. Oh my God, amazing. You candy in them. I could put candy, a <laughs> little midnight candy snack. And a this custom so head for. That is perfect and amazing. Your little sconces, you got some drawers on either side with beautiful green knobs. I'm obsessed with I'm it. shaking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to say. It's That's like, okay, oh, it's you can take it all in. And we had obviously your amazing photo shoot. I love that one of you silhouetted. That was like I, such I love that one. Love that one. Okay. Yes. This was one of uh, our thrift store finds. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh, Mona, what do you think? I like it. Isn't it amazing? It's like so much better than I could have even imagined. I mean, I trusted you guys, Aww. but this is like so perfect. Oh, good, I'm so it's like glad. like everything I wanted and more. I know I you said you it. had a $500 budget, mm -hmm. and you're gonna keep that $500. No. Yes. And oh my God. Our treat. Mama. Thank yes. you so much. You're welcome. Oh spend it on some stuff oh to store God. in this bed. All right. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. your color palette is working so well with the, both of you guys. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get out of here. We've been here all weekend. Yeah, thanks for letting us back. stay in here Thank while you guys, you guys so out. much. Oh, you're welcome. Hug. Mm. I need to go. I'm glad this Seriously. worked out. Yeah. Oh, this was really fun. Thanks for inspiring us to do this. Yeah. And we're back at it. Yes. This is Thank you. On the oh, that's so, so exciting. Fun. I'm so happy you're here on the island. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah you oh, made it. You made it awesome. So thank you. Thank you. All right. Yay! Bye. Guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That's so cool. It's so beautiful. That's so cool. Oh, it's so cool.